All right, blue team, welcome. Red team, welcome. We're starting today off with the next challenge. But before we start, uh, red team, you guys lost the last challenge at the middle of the night, the uh, rude awakening. Uh, and so at Losers Council, you guys discussed amongst yourselves who was gonna be switching. Uh, you guys pulled rocks, and the person that's gonna be switching to the blue team is going to be Becca Helt. You will be changing places with your brother, Josh, oh. help. So go ahead, change your bandanas, switch places. <laughs> your head's really big. <laughs> <laughs> and this is your team as we get ready for the next challenge. Blue team, are you guys ready? Yeah. Red team? Are you guys ready? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start the next challenge. Well, welcome to challenge four. Get ready for a trivia challenge. So what's gonna happen is Pastor Cameron and I are gonna ask a question. The person with the closest answer to the correct answer wins. So you just have to have a rough estimate that is closest to the correct answer. So what's gonna happen, the person with the correct answer gets to choose. We're gonna tell you, we're gonna have different food choices. So if you win, you can choose if you want the risky food choice, which Cameron will always have, or if you want the good food choice. If you choose the risky and you decide to eat it, you get two points. If you choose the good one and eat it, you get one point. But if you decide the risky one and do not eat it and choose not to eat it, that is a negative one point. Ooh, ooh. So, you need ooh. to strategize. If you be... win, do you want to get more points and eat the risky thing, or do you want to be safe? So strategize, think what you want, but closest to the answer wins. <laughs> and blue team, since you guys won the last challenge, you guys do have an advantage with this. After you successfully eat whatever food item you select, you will be able to drink chocolate milk after. Like for the whole time? The whole time. Let's go. Alrighty, are you ready for the first question? Yes. All right, the person with the closest answer gets to choose what <laughs> food item they get. All right, golf balls have these things called dimples. About how many dimples are in a golf ball? Closest one to the correct answer wins. I'm gonna give you five more seconds. Five. All right, show me your answer. So Daxon said 200. Bellis said 150. The correct answer is 336. So Daxon, would you like? I want that. <laughs> good one? I want that. Okay. All right. We'll count on. We'll do a count on three, and then you have to eat at the same time. Oh. All right, Daxton, what's what is what is your food? Yo! Swedish oh, no. fish. Okay. No. Uh, Jacob, what is no, yours? I'm not eating it. It's what fish. It? No. What is, what is it? yours? What is fish. It? it looks like oh, sardines. No. Ah! No, so you're gonna take a negative one point for the team. <laughs> Gladly. Yo, wait. But you get chocolate if milk. If I eat that, can I get I'll, the points? I'll Come just on, drink Jacob, the chocolate milk. milk. No. 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 Man, fish no. tastes good. All right, Daxton's All right, Daxton team. red team gets one, one point. point. Put a tally for one on your whiteboard. In the yeah! Blue team, negative one point. Yeah. So right, negative one in the corner. All right. Oh, negative one point. All right. The next question that you guys are going to be answering is going to be, how many days a year, on average, would an American look for lost items? If you were to put all the time together for how much time an average American searches for lost items, how many days a year would that be? Person with the closest answer gets to select. Show your answer. <gasps> what? What's right. your answer, Caleb? 43. 43. 43. Kelsey says three. Correct answer is two and a half days. Oh, what? what? Congratulations, oh, red team. Kelsey. So what, you select will you take? safe one. <laughs> safe one. Oh my god. So yes, Caleb, I'm not, I'm not gonna that gives you this. Oh Kelsey, god. what's your food item? Avocado. 
Avocado. <laughs> Caleb, what is your food item? Wasabi. Wasabi. Uh oh. Well, I remember that from Cars 2. So if you eat it, that's two points for your team. So yep. I have to eat the whole thing. Yep. Yep. What about the chocolate milk? Where's the chocolate milk? <laughs> that's a bad one I know it is. So pour you a <laughs> cup of chocolate milk. I want to I wanna no. do it at when yeah, the chocolate milk is ready. <laughs> I, would, I would eat the wasabi before I would eat that olive. Just eat it, Caleb. Like literally, it's not even that bad. I like it with Isn't the it spicy. spicy. It's very spicy. Very, very spicy. Hot. And you look at the camera. Yeah, Caleb. Very, very spicy. You get one point, right? <laughs> yep. Good job, Caleb. Good job, Kelsey. Well done. So add two points. Kelsey add one point. Okay. So the largest scrambled eggs ever made weighed how many tons? The largest scrambled eggs ever made weighed how many tons? Give us your best guess. What? What? What is it? 5.5. 5.5. It's actually 3.5. So Jariah, you are closer. Would you like the good one? Yes. Okay. Let's he gets popcorn. Math. Lift up the solid cup off of the clear. Oh, that's nice. You have live crickets. <laughs> I see why I get popcorn. This is entertaining. <laughs> if you eat those, you get two points for your team. Just like Josh, swallow it. Josh, close Take your one eyes. You, you can do it. Don't eat oh. it. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> you don't have to do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's really jumping inside my stomach right now. So write down two points. Write down one point. Red team with two points. Blue team has a point. That puts red at four. Take your cup. Blue at two. Well done, Josh. Good job. All right, so blue team has a total of two points. Oh red team, I'm what do you so got? Scared. You have a total of four. four points. So red team has four points. Blue team has two points. Josh Helt just took one for the team to gain <laughs> so those points over blue team. All right. I have no clue. Okay, you guys ready? Your next question is, the average American produces how many pounds of trash per day? Day. On average, how many pounds of trash does an American produce per day? <laughs> I'm, I don't know. I'm not really good guesser. All right. Okay, show, show your answers. It's about 100. What? All right. <laughs> All right. What are your answers? Ariana says 10. Micah, you say 100. <laughs> the correct answer know. is four and a half pounds per <laughs> day. Good job, Micah. Good job. I'm gonna cry. Ariana, the which food one. do you select? The, the safe, safe one? one. Yeah. Okay, no, Micah. Come on, Micah. That's you not safe. <laughs> yours is a yeah. bell pepper. <laughs> Micah, yours is habanero. Oh. Okay, you can do it. Oh, Easy. Think about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just yeah, have Michael. to eat, you just have to eat one habanero pepper. Okay. Just, just, just do it. Just grab one and do it. Grab one and do it. Grab one and do it. There we go. Yeah, Micah. Yeah, Micah. You have to do all of them. You have to do all of them. Just one. No, just yeah. one. Oh, what? Why? That's not fair. No, Josh, no, just eat one. Okay, you can do it. Come on. Come on. Oh, she just has to do one. Josh has to eat both the crickets. She's feeling it. You You're on the red team. You She's on the blue team. The blue team gets the chocolate milk. Oh. Hey, we, at least we get the points, though, right? Whew. Hey, let's it's really hot. hot. It's so hot. Oh a little more. Oh, no, I can only, I only have to do one, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Good. Okay, Micah, add the points, two points add to your board. Two points for your team. So really Ariana, add a point add for your team. Two points. And then take your Take your garbage. 
and then we'll send down the next contestant. It hurts so badly. Good luck. On the red team. I don't want to do this. Okay. <laughs> All right, red team has a total of six points. Chances are whatever the good food is, I'm also not gonna wanna eat. Blue team has a total of three points, so red team is in the lead right now. Who is going to win? Here's your question. What is the world record for putting on how many t-shirts? How many t-shirts did this guy put on? All right, reveal your answers. Okay, okay. Ooh. Becca says 200, and we have 138. All right, Becca, you are closer. 260 t-shirts oh, wow. this guy oh. put on. That's a lot of t-shirts. So think about it. You guys have three points. Three points. Do you go with two? Do you go with one? You go with one? Okay. You go with good food? She's going with one. I, I almost promise you I won't eat it. Bethany? I she like has that. gummy worms. If it's worms, I will not eat it. Okay. Okay. Can No. I won't do it. I won't do it. I will not. Oh, watch the play. No, no. I know I know I know Josh just ate live crickets. So I should I should feel obliged, but I won't. I literally told myself. Oh, it's alive too, isn't it? Is it alive? <gasps> it's alive. No, no, no. Take it back. All right. I will take the so negative one point. I, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Perfect. All right. Take your cups and plates. All right. Oh, I ha do I have to take it? <laughs> yep. You gotta take it. All what right. do I do? Can I put it in the ground? <laughs> Fair enough. Congratulations, red team. Let's go. For winning yeah. the challenge. Josh pulling it out for your team, yes, Josh. eating the live Boy. crickets. Good job. Uh, you guys will get an advantage for the next challenge. Uh, blue team, unfortunately, you guys lost this challenge, so you guys will be going to Losers Council, and we will be having a debrief there. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go to the next part. Well, well done on the picky eater challenge, Caleb. I'm sorry, that was a lot of wasabi, but good thing you had the advantage of the chocolate milk. Oh, yeah. So I'm hoping that's helping. I see you're still holding your stomach. Yeah. We'll see what happens in the oh. next challenge. Uh, but I'm, you only lost by one point. So that means we are here. So as we've discussed earlier, you either have three minutes to discuss and unanimous, unanimously vote who to boot from the team, or you can draw rocks, but in those three minutes, you do need to choose who you are bringing on to the blue team. So, your time starts now. Okay. What should bring Josh? Yeah, no, I agree. Josh no, Josh no. keeps moving around. He, does. he just jo ate crickets. Josh, Josh keeps moving I would say you sick. want Josh, though. No, but yeah. why? Do you want I say Daxton. I say <laughs> so, so, we want Josh, though, right? No, Daxton. Oh, Daxton. 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 No, we should get Josh. I say Daxton. Josh okay, is the biggest get, threat. Josh is, yeah, probably. But why? Because he's the biggest I threat. I don't know. He's like but strong why? in all of the areas. <laughs> but so is Daxton. Yeah, I was going to say. Are you sure about I don't that? know about that. <laughs> 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 all right, I guess well, Josh it is then. Okay. All right. Okay. Again. Are we going to vote someone out or are we going to say Does anyone want to go back to red team? I don't know. I kind of do, but I kind of don't. I say pick rocks. You can if you want to. I don't want to go back. <laughs> I say pick rocks. So do you want do to? Do you want to go back? If you guys want me to go back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're picking rocks then. All right. Oh, it's too yes. risky. It's too, too risky. risky. <laughs> I guess we're picking rocks. We're picking, okay. picking rocks. I guess we're picking rocks. All right. Do you guys have an individual from the Josh. red team? Josh, yeah. Josh Helt will be coming right. back to the blue team. Again. All right. Okay. Like always, grab it, put it in your hand, face down, and then we will reveal at the same time. Okay. I want this one. Do it. I do. Take your time there. I will. I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. 
All righty, on the count of three, reveal your rocks. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. Oh, oh, no. So Caleb, oh. you will be moving to the red team and Josh <laughs> will be coming to the blue team. So let's get ready for the next challenge. Did you well. eat any bugs? <laughs> Yeah, the crickets, crickets are still feel really weird inside of my stomach. How did you, what was your method for eating those things? I just swallowed them whole. Why? And How come you didn't chew them? That's my question. Because I was afraid that, <laughs> I don't know, like taste horrible or something. Uh. And I figured it would just be faster just to swallow them, so. I got the habanero pepper and it wrecked me. It wrecked me inside and out and um, yeah, I would never, I would never do that again. Um, but I'm really proud of my team and for all their hard effort, especially Josh for, you know, swallowing those crickets whole. That was impressive. So, yeah, I think we have a strong, strong team right now, especially with two very strong, you know, fast guys, da Daxton and Josh, and very smart ladies. My, must I say, Kelsey, me, and Bethany. So. I think we have a pretty strong shot. How do you feel about <laughs> uh, Daxon's knee in injury and will it hold you back as a team? <laughs> um, you know, it might, it might. There's no like doctor here. So if his knee gives out, we're screwed pretty much. My confidence has skyrocketed. I got one question right and I'm on top of the world.